Hello. We're back. I just brought my wood down, collected some rocks. We are going to build the deck on the other side. There's such a challenge in bringing the materials down. I wanted to build the deck with whatever I have here so that I don't spend four hours of my day or more going to drive to get the materials, bring them all down, and then most of my day is gone. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to do what I can with what I've got and hopefully we can use all the lumber that I have. Clearly I realized that my Wanting to do this, this back deck here isn't, gonna, isn't feasible now. I'm going to let it sit and digest. There are too many ducks that I haven't sorted out and I have to let it declare itself to me before I can jump into it. There's a lot of different factors I have to consider that my main priority was just trying to protect this back and the more I'm walking back here, which is a lot and every debris is just falling at the cabin. So that was the reason why I'd wanted to get this back portion done so that I'm walking on something flat. I have another flat working surface and I'm stopping the debris from going towards the cabin. But anyway, change of plans. We're here to build another important deck. Better than nothing. It should at least stop a tool. I mean, this side is the side is worse than the other side, to be honest. Really, really drop off right here. I hadn't really planned on building a permanent deck on this side. I mean, clearly I've never had a solid plan for this cabin build other than its size of being 10 feet by 10 feet. But in order for me to continue to work on this side of the cabin, both in terms of safety and efficiency, having a flat surface to work from is key in this location. Ah, uh, hindsight is always twenty twenty, and if I could go back, I would have installed these side decks from the very beginning. I had to kind of retrofit some cedar boards at the bottom of my rim joist to allow the pressure-treated 2x6s to join flush and plumb. Because this, this big rock is in the way, I can't bring the deck all the way to the back of the cabin. I thought, like, this is a really, really big rock, and if I anchor bolt the deck, which is going to be attached to the cabin, into this big rock that might be an extra form of security for the cabin just like anchoring it to something some people are worried that it's just anchor bolted at the front there and the rest of it is floating or the whole deck is anchor bolted i, I guess but so i think it wouldn't hurt and a miss. The happy Gilmore of hammering. Okay, those two are on. I did the same thing as the other side because I'm going to put the foam on here and the deck boards are going to go on here. Now for here, 
I actually don't think I need to add one. What I could do is cut these boards back and then join the other ones on part way. I'm going to have to trim these no matter what, but I think I'm going to add one anyway. It feels like it would be a little bit more secure if I have another board there. basically just trying to figure out now because all of my two by sixes are eight feet long so how do I want to have these outside ones if I only have eight feet long and I have uh, like an 11 and a quarter inch block at the end like and then an eight foot section and then a six something foot section so if I split it eight feet so I have a straight solid eight foot piece to come to here and then eight plus or whatever six plus this there then I'll have one this doesn't make sense probably but this will come out this joist and I'll have one big support here I'll have one big support post in the front one big post here one big post there and then I can have two smaller ones further back. Does that make sense? I'm just trying to figure out how it's all going to go. It's kind of piecing it together. It's a little bit um, not quite as straightforward. But anyway, it's about 1.30. I have Riley here with me today, the black dog, and he doesn't like coming down here, so he's up in my truck. I will probably at some point go up and have lunch with him and say hi to him. I don't know if I'll finish everything today, but I can come back tomorrow after my dentist appointment and hopefully finish what I don't end up finishing today, if that's the case. I certainly know I'm not gonna get this front section done because I don't have the big six by six. That's gonna be a bit of a two person job, I would say. So I'll wait for Steve to help me. I'm trying to draw. I'm terrible at drawing and doing math, which is why I just end up winging things. I'm trying to figure out how to piece it all together. So I think I'm going to go up and trim off that little end. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. it took me an absurd amount of time to figure out the length of this one board. Don't ask. Now there's like a big chunk of bedrock there. So next time I'm out, I'll, when we bring the 
rock drill and some anchor bolts, I can anchor bolt it to that rock. Officially time to go see little black dog. Shot the front door. <laughs> I'm just walking up, going up the trail. And I'm always looking because I found the wheelbarrow wheel. There's some old rusty metal there. I'm always like, one of these days I'm gonna scour around again and see if I can't find more treasures. And I found another one, I see it. Good thing I brought my phone for the camera. Another wheel, wheelbarrow wheel. I have all these. <laughs> Ooh, this one's in pretty good shape too. Lots of chandeliers to make. All right, Riley and I are both fed and we're both walked and had a drink. I did put this thing I had because I can't reach in here to screw and get, get anything in there. So I put a couple of screws in and then this thing. I'm getting better at uh, little tricks to when you're working by yourself or when you're building things backwards. But I should move it in some or out some, that's right. Or should I have two of these here to join up? Okay, I got it squared up. Just put some screws in here. Um, I guess I'm gonna build a separate situation off of this one. I'm gonna just butt these this corner up together. Now, I wonder, do I need one halfway there and then from there to there and there to here, or can I just put one eight foot length here so long as I maybe have a support in the middle? Hmm. Huh. I decided against it to save wood. I'm gonna do one through here. There's something I forget to do often, a lot, is check for the crown. And I believe I put this one upside down because it's down a little bit if I run a flat board across there. This one is a little bit lower, so I have a feeling this is the opposite side. I must remember to do that, but I just forget.
It's a little bit off, but I'm not going to worry too much about it until I do the permanent post, but I just want to bring it up a bit. It's getting windier. The Tyvek is really annoying. <laughs> Okay, it's like five o'clock. I am gonna be done for the day. Riley told me. Stupid toy book. Riley told me he wanted to go mountain biking tonight. So I'm gonna take the little guy mountain biking. We'll see you back here tomorrow. got here. It's 20 after 3. I uh, had a dental appointment so just in case I wasn't sure how much I would need I did bring an extra length of cedar that I had I don't know at home and I brought the Hilti drill down. Want it slightly sloping away from the cabin, which it is. I guess that's why they call it a preservative. It preserves itself. Sadly, one of the things I just realized as I was cutting this was I meant to, I meant to make this post go so that the next deck that's going to join on to it would rest on this as well. So now I'll have to figure something else out.
This bitch ain't going nowhere. Okay, now I can start putting deck boards on. Actually, what I'm gonna do first, which I did on the other side, is apply some of this stuff. And I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but this is how I'm gonna do it, because it's my cabin. Um, but what I didn't know is that some brands, example, this brand, require a primer, adhesion primer. Um, and this probably, it really should stick to wood, I guess, but I'm just gonna put it on here. My foam is gonna go on. Um, and then I will put on a metal flashing before I put the siding on. So it'll have two layers of kind of protection. Now, sadly, in order to use up the boards that were left over from the other deck, so I have six foot and change deck boards here, but I will use the leftovers for something. Stairs, maybe, like stair treads or something. I often get asked the question, what is the purpose of this cabin and the rest of the cabins or structures I want to build if I already have a cabin? And the short generic version of an answer is, why do they build ships in glass bottles? But if you want to hear a more personal answer, I guess it would be something like this. I don't think I quite know yet. All I can say is that it feeds my soul and fuels my fire. I'm curious to know what I'll learn next and curious to know what I'm capable of while I'm capable. There is a great quote by Eleanor Roosevelt that has stuck with me for years. The purpose of life is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. You know, nothing in this life is a guarantee, not tomorrow, not even the rest of today. And if I'm fortunate enough to live into my senior years, but unfortunate enough to end up shooting my pants in a nursing home, no longer capable, maybe then I'll really know what the purpose was.
and that's what happens. Oh my gosh, our socks get he shed so much. <laughs> <laughs>